Uh, Mary asks, does anyone know anything about the catch up function? Not ketchup that you put on a hamburger, but catch up <laughs> function. Uh, it's in files, top right. For all the docs I have tried, it appears to not work. I see on help pages that it's supposed to have like a feed of updates to the doc, but mine always say says all caught up. This is an important feature for my org because we're not doing anything inside SharePoint, uh, so no looking at version history. And the only uh, other way I see to be able to see what changes others have made on a doc is to track changes, which is not ideal to have to remember to turn on uh, every time. I found that in terms of some of the, you know, what's happening in the show changes, you can do that. And if, if we're talking about files, you need to be like, it's an actually an office functionality of the app, like the browser or through Teams. So on the review tab, you've got show changes. So that's where you needing to go. It's not kind of the SharePoint. It's not a SharePoint functionality. It's an office app functionality, not the application on the the desktop the online kind of version so with the catch up in the top right hand corner it always comes down to who's been in and out and it'll come up with the you know show changes um and so you go review show changes because the catch up button in the top right might say you haven't done anything recently um you've got the version history you can go and have a look at so you can go back to the past but it's only been recent things it's more when you you're all in there together. The moment you get out, it's not going to have that there anymore. So when you come back in again, show changes isn't going to come up. It's going to be in the version history. Yeah, I, I think it's a timing thing because the web versions, as Christy's talking about, that's where you see this catch up. And the it knows the last time you were in that file. So if you've mm -hmm. opened it in the desktop version and then go to the web, it's going to say you're all caught up because you've accessed it. It's, it's kind of time sensitive, I think, um, if they're showing you all caught up because you've looked at it in another mode, maybe. It's, actually, that out as an idea. In, it's actually when you go in and out because like with version history, it's, it's around and the functionality of someone comes into the document, someone comes into the document, you're working together. If you sat there for 30 minutes and you both got out, you've only got one version and it's just you, the owner usually. But if you come in and you worked on it and someone else comes in and works on it, you leave, it creates a version. They still, if they do anything after that point, then they leave and it leaves a version. So when you look at the version history and in the catch up, the way the catch up functionality is working on, and when you're in there and working together, it goes, who's done what whilst you're in there? And the moment you get out, so once you're out and you're coming back in, depending on how you're coming back in, there's going to be, there aren't any changes because ultimately it's created a version history which would show you some of those changes but it's not like you're all in here when you're all in working together like if I've had it and I'm doing co-collaboration and I, especially when I'm doing all those demos and training you've got 20 people in there it will show you the whole list so that you could catch up on what's going on whilst you're in there and working and who's done what but when you get out it's gone so yeah, it's not going to be there because it goes into the version history then mm. that's the way I'm seeing it in the nature that it works and I'd have to agree with you. And if, if keeping track of the changes is that mission critical for a document, then just turn on track changes. That, that's the best way to, to make sure that you capture all of the changes and who made them and at what time. And yep. the nice thing about track changes versus version history, if you restore a version, you lose all the work that happened after that. With track changes, it's kind of like spell check. You can go through and accept this, decline that one, and cherry pick which of the changes you want to keep and which ones you don't uh, and want to reject. So it you know, just all depends on your documentation process and how critical that is to your business yeah. process that you're trying to manage. And the only way you could go around that Shari, is if you are restoring, you could go back to the previous one because it becomes just the latest version. You could go back to the previous one and do a compare documents. I mean, if it was Word, you could do that compare document so you can kind of see, well, what was the difference? And it would then it would then come up and do a track changes effectively for you with doing a compare document. But then that's only going to be really that sort of Word feature functionality. It's like, well, which app are you even in when you're talking yeah. files to? So it comes down to which one. <laughs> and even then you wouldn't see who did what if there's multiple people in it. That's why your best bet is the is the track changes if if you really need to capture that information. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. Absolutely. Which, by the and, way, and the is, is something that I just I just noticed uh, today again. I mean, I've seen it before, but was reminded of it because I just used it was I went to share a link with a document for review to a team of people. And it is part of the options, to making sure the permissions were correct and allowing people to edit um, that version. It also has a tagged out or a, a little uh, toggle to turn on track changes within that sharing function now, which didn't used to be there. I love that it's there now. And so I find myself when I'm sharing out with the group, I will turn that on, then send it out. Yeah, it's a great reminder for those that aren't even thinking that way. You know, it just kind of put it right in their face. It's awesome. Yeah. And then um, the, the version history too, if, if again, if you're really wanting to manage the versions of your documents, um, make sure people check them out and check them back in because then it hard stamps them as specific versions and let you add comments as to what has changed between that version and the previous version. So that it's not just version 2.2 that happened on Tuesday. It's like, this is where we added this section or this clause or updated whatever it was. You can actually identify what was different. So if you have to revert back, it's not some you know, weird date and time. You actually know which version you're reverting it to.